Some girls just want to watch World Cup. Jeff nailed another draft day. Nailed it. Top five has the 98. I got some more. Just love to some Kevin James. Fucking Kevin James. Please note that any comments, jokes, questions, maybe, anything that we say on the History of Bad Ideas is all in good fun, and remember, we insult everybody. Our thoughts, opinions, questions, anything else, actions that we do on the show do not reflect any of our employers, organizations, advertisers, or anyone else that is associated with the History of Bad Ideas. And remember, at the end of the day, it's just a joke. Welcome to the History of Bad Ideas, episode number 440. I'm Jason. I'm Jeff. I'm Bucky Blake. And I'm the intern. And I'm Scab Jim. Hey! Hey. Scab Jim went to Bucky's. How yeah, was that? Great. It was a life-changing experience. I find that hard to believe. It you, was. You had me worried. The sigh made me think that like it was like overrated. No, no, oh, no, no, no. Okay. No. No, gas was only three sixty two there. But you drove two hours to get it. <laughs> okay, I'm just I, saying. I, I saved money though. I was saving like did you save forty money? cents a gallon? Mm-hmm. I think you burned it all the way coming back. Yep. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, for for people that are listening, going scab, you know, Jim doesn't sound like that. No, Jim is not here scab this week. Jim is actually played by the role of Doug, number one fan. Of just Hobie and Disney and Disney, uh, Doug. Are you going on the Guardians of the Roller Coaster? Guardians of the Galaxy Roller Coaster. <laughs> Guardians of the Roller Coaster. <laughs> I, I like that ride better. Change approved. Change approved. Guardians of the Roller Coaster. Po- possibly in June. Oh, okay. Are you going Disney in June? Yes. Oh, like well, who? well. I I don't know. My my hookup for free tickets might not be coming through, so we'll, we'll be there. But I don't know if we'll be in the parks. <laughs> I'm going to Universal. In June. Are I, you? Are you? Yeah. Are we like there, too? We'll have to sync up and make sure I don't run into you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bri- Blake. Yes. Who, who had the bingo block? June for Doug going to Disney. <laughs> Put I, on the Hobie block. <laughs> I'm going to visit my son. Oh, okay. We have actually planned nothing. Your son named Mickey Mouse. <laughs> That's assumed Disney's still there because uh, DeSantis is going to run him out of the state. Could you imagine? Uh, yeah. I want DeSantis. Whatever. I want him to bring a military into Disney. <laughs> and I want to see Disney's military. Because let's be real. Disney has a secret military under their gra- underground. I'm telling you. They have like thousands of people ready to go to attack. And they're controlled by Walt Disney's head. Yes. <laughs> yes. In a jar. It's reanimated. Mm-hmm. It is. Uh, you can actually buy a replica at Bucky's. Mm-hmm. Um, no evidence of that. But there's no evidence there isn't. <laughs> you know what you can get at Bucky's? Brisket. Very good brisket. Mm. So, Bucky's is basically a grocery store next to a gas station, built with a gas station. Yeah, there's there's probably a hundred or so pumps at this gas station. No trucks allowed, so it's just cars. Okay. There is a counter for just beef jerky, or not even beef, I don't know what jerky is there. A counter for jerky. You can get all types. Clothes. Oh. There's camping Jerky gear. clothes? No, no, no. Jerky. Wow, clothes made of jerky. Brian, you boys yeah. in Kentucky know what to do. Yep. Wow. I think they were inspired by Lady Gaga. Pretty kinky. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, I, I brought back... Oh, from Bucky's. Here we from go. Bucky's. I have be- Beaver Buddies. That looks like animal crackers. They're Beaver Buddies. Beaver and then, Buddy animal crackers. They don't look like any beavers. They look like cookies. elephants. Animal but, cookies. And there's bison. <laughs> Where's the beavers? Well, they're the buddies of the beaver. Oh, there's a beaver right there. Okay. And then I haven't tried this yet. I have it back at home. Also, you know, aside the, from the brisket, the beaver's driving the truck. Is he? It's blacked out windows. I don't know who's driving that. Oh, I can see him. Could be JFK Jr. Who knows? I, I also brought beaver nuggets. That's Ew. something else. That's something else. What there. is that? I'm not sure. I have a bag at home. I haven't tried yet. You know, there's a creek down by my house. You probably could have found free <laughs> beaver nuggets all you want down there. It doesn't even want to explain to you what it is. 
It just gives you the ingredients. Jeff, let me get a picture of that here. Could be good. Beaver nugget. It hey. looks, it looks, it looks like, like caramel. Caramel oh, covered yeah. corn puffs. There's brown sugar, cornmeal, yeah. corn syrup, there you vegetable go. oil, corn syrup. salt, margarine. Salt? <laughs> no way. <laughs> margarine? No. I'm like it, it looks like it's caramel popcorn, but that's not popcorn. <laughs> so caramel puffs, puffs. like it's yeah. they literally, Cheetos, but caramel flavor. They just deep know. fried it. <laughs> How many servings until type 2 diabetes sets in? Oh, let's see. <laughs> that might be one of the healthier things you there have here. There are 12 <laughs> servings in this bag. And each serving is 140 calories. Okay. Uh, so you divide by 12, so each piece is like 12 calories is what we're going with, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going, that's new math. 6% <laughs> of your total fat for the day. It's banned in Florida. <laughs> Kentucky math, Brian, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Just making sure. Uh, so I'm allowed to rip into these now, right? I don't care. <laughs> Why Why did mean? you not hear last week's episode? If you, you put food in front of Jeff, he's opening it and he's eating it. I, mean, I didn't have dinner tonight. So. Oh, well, you did tonight? It's all right. You already passed off a you peanut a, butter crunch to me. I got to eat it. You got a full plate of beaver over there. <laughs> <laughs> the one week Brian doesn't bring a bag of food. Right. <laughs> or Jeff, Jim. Or, yeah. yeah. Jeff doesn't have... Or Jeff does have dinner. So, so what do they taste like? They taste like what I would imagine a Cheeto puff without the cheese on it, but uh, with uh, maple brown sugar on it. In corn syrup. Are those locally sourced beaver nuggets? I don't know. Do we have local beavers? <laughs> Are they native to this to this area? They might have been at one time, but I think they were wiped out. Set up north. <laughs> what else you got? Uh, okay, also. Because you got a bag oh, of a lot of stuff over there. It oh, does yeah. contain a bioengineered food and drink. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try. Let me have this, Jeff. I haven't been here since before Christmas, so here, here's. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Co Canadian of the Year has not been here all year? I've been, I've been out promoting. You know, if, if you look at the post I put up on Facebook about Bucky's, I believe it's your best performing post on Facebook ever. Yes. So but I co-Canadian you, of the Year, I'm Dr. Getting, Dana, brought us Oreos from Canada. Okay. This, this is a, We are co-Canadians. We are a team. Uh-huh. We are doing this together. She's, she's providing the food. Uh-huh. I'm providing the, the audience. Okay. Okay. That, I like this it. Is what we're doing. I like it. It's not a one-man job. Okay. A one-woman job. Well, it's, it's, Brian, Blake, take one of those. I, I did. It, it it starts out really syrupy. What is it? And then it, then I feel that then I get the sugar corn pop. I get a oh sugar oh, yeah, pops. Pop. I get yeah. a corn pops taste. Yeah. Beaver nuggets are like hard as anything though. They hit. hit yeah, the that's ground. interesting. Oh, hello. Yeah, I, I get yeah the, the corn pops. And yeah. that's probably the closest I could. Mm-hmm. Woo. Not quite as gamey as I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Not as Not chewy. Not the tail made it. <laughs> so I also brought everybody their own Pez oh. dispenser. Whoa. What? This Christmas. Specifically for Jason. Christmas oh, a Nutcracker one. Awesome. Right. Whoa. Cool. Much better than Neko wafers. Thank you. So who's Santa? Whoever you guys want. Oh, All that's awesome. You Nutcracker. No, no, I think, I think Brian's the elf. Oh, this one looks like a dog. Oh, but yeah, it does. I'll give you that one. It's a reindeer. And then I also brought... This one looks like Stork. <laughs> <laughs> the snowman. Chocolate pudding Peeps. Oh! Uh-huh. Brian loves Peeps. There you go. Brian I, I loves Peeps. I think I'm peeps. the only one at this table that likes Peeps. Uh, my mom likes them stale. Is she at this table? Yes. <laughs> okay. uh, she's actually right behind you. Spiritually. And then, and then for my, my, my bribe, since Jim isn't here... I had posted, if I win... Wait a minute. What are you reaching in your pants for? Be careful! Get oh, shit. A crisp $5 bill. <laughs> what was this for? <laughs> if I were to win Co-Canadian of the Year, I told him I would give him $5. Oh! <laughs> He's not here. There it is. It's out of my hands That'd be down. present to win, right? It's out of my hands now. Mm. Even though he didn't technically vote for me, his abstaining <laughs> sealed the tie. It's a creepy <laughs> nutcracker you got me, Doug. God. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know, I didn't think I would like these, but these are addicting. Bucky, what is this? Beaver nuggets? Beaver nuggets. They're pretty good. 
I can eat a bunch of them. Yeah. <laughs> you can make your own, save yourself three <laughs> hours getting to the gas station. <laughs> two, two. You know, just, it's only like just go get some there. maple syrup and some Depending sugar corn pops. You drive. Yeah. Well, when you're going to Bucky's, you're going really fast. <laughs> because you can yeah. get gas. Because the right. quicker you go, the less gas you use. That's right. K- KSP wasn't out that day. <laughs> <laughs> with a hundred, with a hundred gas station, you know, where do you go? Do you pick your favorite number and get in line? What's up? Uh, just so many to choose from. It's oh, just gosh. a plethora. I, I filled like a gallon at each different one. Wow. Do they have any full service pumps? No. That would have been cool. It's around the back. Guy comes out dressed up like Steve <laughs> like Martin a, from the like church. You know, so like, <laughs> or a beaver. Bucky, yeah, yeah, or like beaver. A beaver. Yeah. There, there was a beaver there. I could not get my picture with him. <laughs> it was the grand opening, so all the big wigs were there. That, that's, that's called a prostitute. <laughs> had, had I been... There's no strip joint next to that place, is there? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> that's, that's in the back. They actually that's have the a Bucky strip club. <laughs> Had I had more time, I would, oh. I would have tried to interview some of these people or just get something from them. But it was basically drop my daughter off at school, drive down, <laughs> about an hour or so down there, drive back to pick her up from school. So <laughs> I didn't have a lot of time to play with. Good thing gas was cheap. Yeah. Blake, <laughs> Blake, you didn't have a lot of time to play with the beaver, so yeah, it's right. okay. I didn't have a lot of time. <laughs> He had no time for the beaver. No. So what's changed in his life? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Whew. Brian, go ahead and say it. Not, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> We're getting there, but okay. not yet. Okay. Just checking. Just checking. I just want to see a live remote. I would Bucky's, love to do a live Bucky's. remote from Bucky's. Uh, we're going to go down in July. Uh, I'm going to go down to the beaver room in July, so, you know. <laughs> <sighs> I feel like you classed it up a lot today, Doug. I feel yeah. classy today. I just like all the people I've brought to your... I, do, I appreciate it. You know. I appreciate it. The Bucky's mm. crowd loves us now. Yes. Well, I don't know. Last week, uh, somebody kept mis- mispronouncing the... Uh, Boucher's? The name of it. So Jim. I think That's why whatever, I suspended this Whatever week. I did yeah. to help, I think he just... You know. Boucher's? But Boucher's? That's he mispronounces everything. This is true. Call Jeff G off. I mean, it's just different. <laughs> um, so the Beaver Buddies Animal Cookies, eight, an assortment of eight fun shapes. Eh, that's kind of relative. With baked in <laughs> sprinkles. Baked in. Yeah. Ooh. Feel sorry for that dog. <laughs> Name Beaver. Sprinkles. Beaver. Sorry. Uh, calories. Eight cookies. Oh God. One hundred and thirty calories. <laughs> eight cookies per serving. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Why do you read the nutritional information? We like it's not like it stops you guys from eating anything. No, no, no. We try to, you know, let people know how much we have to work out <laughs> to get this what off. What do you mean stops? It encourages me to eat more. Um, inclu- I mean, I have to get my 100% fat intake today. That's right. It has zero cholesterol, so that's good. So they're healthy. <laughs> Sodium is 4%. That's actually not bad compared to what we usually get. Oh, huh. well, thank you, Doug. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have to so limit my... are we my... opening up those cookies? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just talk about the beaver and his buddies. Yeah. Best yeah. by March of you 2020. The beaver That's not good. and his Oh, passes. 2023, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Where the heck is Bucky's out here serving here? If you get a uh, chance, go to Bucky's. They're all over the place. Beaver nuggets and beaver buddies? It looks like somebody shot them. The sprinkles are red. Or pink. It looks like they have bullet wounds. It kind of does. <laughs> yes. They sell ammo at Bucky's, don't they? Do they, Doug? No. They don't have a, a wildlife department. <laughs> they do. It's they mach- have campings up there. They don't have oh, any yeah. outdoor sporting goods. They have in snake there? bite uh, anti anti toxin. Uh, yeah, kit. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty important in D and D. Anti toxin. Oh God! It's like powdery. It appears that I've got a buffalo. It appears I got a shot camel that has a head cut off. I've got a bear with a <laughs> blue foot. <laughs> I think that was a Disney movie, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, blue foot. Blue foot the bear. That's right. Wasn't that his name in Brother Bear? It wasn't. Phil Collins sure. sings a song. Or was it Brian Adams? Neither. But <laughs> who, who sang uh, mm, Brother Bear? I don't know. Was there a song in Brother Bear? I'll check for you. I'll check. Right, I have you a, check that, Jason. I have a blob with two indentations. <laughs> what is that? You turned it sideways. You got to turn it sideways there, Blake. You got to turn him over, roll him over on that's his belly. A buffalo. So you know, his As belly. a buffalo? Okay, if that's his eyeball, what the hell's in the middle of his body? A heart? A bullet wound? Probably. 
I think that's just where the cookie press put a hole. Okay. Um, Doug, what do you got? Did you eat it? I had a buffalo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Apparently, the buffalo was quite a friend to the beaver. <laughs> <laughs> So does the bear taste different than the other one? Would you I like to try some more? Here, go ahead. Let's see. Phil Collins. Phil Collins, Collins did Brother Bear. I was wrong then. It was Phil Collins. Uh, yeah. That is a bloody buffalo. That is a bloody buffalo. Is there any bloody beavers in here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, name for the show right now. Nope, nope, nope. No. We're, we're getting closer. <laughs> Getting closer. Whew. Okay. These, ta- these taste like something. Dep- these aren't animal cookies. They have a different taste and flavor. They taste like those cookies you get in in the tins at Christmas. Oh, oh yeah, the blue yeah. tins. That you get like six million of them yeah. for like eight cents. Yeah. And like everybody's the big- grandmother keeps their sewing supplies in them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> On top of the like the thirty third layer of cookies. Yeah, I don't like powdery. Like I don't. You're not a friend of cookies oh. anyway, so nobody cares. Oh. Yeah. No. Jeffy's not going to eat them, so you might as well just take the rest. Of them. Please do. Oh, this is. A I'm not fan of that one. No. A bear I feel like cub, I, have... I guess. <laughs> Maybe that's a beaver. Maybe. Oh, that's the jackpot. And that is a giant... <laughs> somebody shot an arrow through the middle of it. The arrow? Shot that looks like a cannonball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, like he's dead now. Shot. Yeah, Musket, not, musket oh. shot. No, oh, God, no. No, no. Not a big fan. Okay, and, and then... The, buff, the beaver nuggets are good, though. The, the other thing, I'm just going to blow my wad here. And oh, hey! Uh, then I can leave, because there's a couple of... Oh, yeah. that's a tip. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you told me to listen to episode 137. Yes, we talked about that last week. A yeah. little bit. Um, yes. There was a lot of ab fab hate. Really? Yes. Uh, yeah, because I liked it. Yes, and it was. A lo- There's a lot of. I like ab fab. I don't think we were hating on ab fab. I think we I was. were just talking about uh, Sex in the City. And and Blake was. You know, they, they were in Death on the Nile together. By the way, well, they yes, were. Yeah. The, well, no, no, it was French the, and Saunders. Well, French and Saunders. Well, they wrote it. They wrote absolutely fabulous. Okay. Yeah. The the Blake wasn't one start in it. Yeah. Absolutely insane, Blake. Yet he was still there. Was still a little bit of reserve. Yes, yes, he was kind of <laughs> the the beginnings of the Blake Andrew <sighs> love hate. Yes, hate hate relationship. It was, it was still love there, yeah. but it was. Teetering. Yes. <laughs> wow. Um, did we ever figure out if he can say Suge Knight? Did we can you say Suge Knight? Suge Knight? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I can't remember the joke. I don't know what that was about. I think you said it's Sug or something. Oh, Sug? Yes. Yeah, Sug Knight. Um, oh, Andy. And okay. every time that Blake called him Andy, he fought him every time. <laughs> I thought you were doing a Shook Knight impression. I'm like, that's not a Shook Knight impression. Um, oh, and did, did the Are You Being Served reboot ever come out? Uh, no, it did not. Okay. Um, Jeff, er, Jeff did a lot of angsty Batman. Okay. Um, we found out Andrew likes Shia LaBeouf. Ah. Oh. Uh, Jason, <laughs> Jason thinks Age of Aquarius was sung by ABBA. <laughs> it was. <laughs> um, Time out. Who's it sung by? The Fifth Dimension. Yes. That's not even a band. It, it took most of the show for Blake to figure out figure out Senior Wences was the hand puppet. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> and then and then the the top five was comedy films since two thousand. I think we've done that like three times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In 440 episodes, you got to repeat top fives once in a while. This might be where the hate for Andrew started for Blake, because his, <laughs> n- his number five was That's My Boy. Who did that? Whose number five was Andrew. that? Andrew's. Oh. And you guys had a lot of crap for that. <laughs> uh, so he deserves crap for that. It's... Stop it, Brian. It's a Stay on movie. target. It's a Sandler movie. It's, it's a right. terrible Sandler movie. Well, number one Most of them were terrible. Jess was Super Troopers. Blake's was Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz, and Jason's was Clerks 2. Oh. Okay. I'll go with Clerks 2. Decent set of movies there, except for That's My Boy. Of course, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Blake had two for number five, one for number four, one for number three, 
five for number two, and then two for number one. And that so, seems a right. So yep. Top five. You should, you should get my up. list tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then there was a lot of hate because you started talking about um, suicide, the, sui- the Suicide Squad. Yes. And and there was a lot of hate for Batman versus Superman. Why? Lots of hate. We hated what? it. Andrew and, didn't though. And I was going through <laughs> junk. Whoa, 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 junk. I brought this for you. Oh. Exclusive Batman versus Superman uh, entertainment. review from Entertainment Weekly. Oh. Who knew that the DC Universe would last longer than the Entertainment Weekly Universe? Did you get that at Bucky's too? No, I did not. You know, I remember this cover. What does it look like? Mm. Oh. Henry, uh, this is before Henry Cavell's uh, great mustache. Here, I wonder if we could draw it on. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Now you're going to just ruin the collector's edition. <laughs> okay, I'll hold off on it. You may want to frame that. I'm a little worried, Doug. Yes. No. Don't do it. The Pez? Yes. One of the flavors in here? Uh-huh. Don't do it. Sugar cookie. Really? I well, did it's Christmas. it. Don't do it. It's Christmas. I did it. Don't do it. Don't eat the sugar cookie Pez? Don't do it. It tastes like Beaver Buddies? Nuggets. <laughs> it's, I'll, tr- it's, I'll try one from your open it's, pack. It's beaver pellets. Could be good. Ooh, man, that's Wonder Woman looking sexy at me. Look at Superman's mustache. That feels appropriate. Jeff, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, looks pretty good. I yeah. thought so, too. It's good. All right. Well, the sugar cookie is a white mm-hmm. as. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Comic-Con. So it's going to suck. So it's artificially flavored? Uh, it is a full cookie in this little Paz. Technology is awesome. Uh, Are You Being Served, the remake, did happen. What? Uh, in 2016. Uh, aired on August 28th. <laughs> Straight to DVD? Uh, the, no. It did not impress many fans at all. <laughs> so just let you know. It was just one episode? Yes. Uh, we're part of an all-new cast. Uh, Who's in separate... there? Who's in the cast? Uh, we'll say? see here. Uh, people called it terrible and unfunny. Um, like the regular show. <laughs> <laughs> See there again. Yeah, at the time, Jason and Andrew liked it. Jeff hated it. Here we go. Mo Fanning at Mo Fanning on Twitter in 2016. Who's uh, Mo Fanning? Uh, he's in England. I don't know. He's Are you being guy? served? Was like watching a really rubbish tribute band in a pub with sticky carpets. <laughs> That's a very British thing to say. He only left out the uh, couch pillows with cigarette hole burns in them. <laughs> and cunt. Yeah. Cunt. Um, I'm just see. worried about carpets in a pub. Oh, yeah. I've seen them. Oh. I mean, it's open for what? Three days before they become sticky carpets? It's uh, loose. Uh, Sherry Houston was in it. She's from Loose Women. Uh, Gavin and uh, Gavin and Stacy star Matthew Horn, Holly Oaks actress Hor- Georgie Porter, and Jason Watkins. So it's an all star cast. Yes, it said it was an all star cast for Brendan actually. So <laughs> sounds great. Sounds great. Uh, yeah. Did not do well, Doug. Did not do well. See, Doug, this okay. is why. Okay, I wasn't sure. I don't recall that. You know, I don't think it ever came over on the states. Okay. <laughs> You know, I was going to say, maybe we could refer to our <laughs> podcast brothers across the sea, 365 Flicks, but they no longer exist. So are they now like Zero Flicks? 365? Zero Flicks? Uh, they're, they're nerdly. That they are just one. Just well, one. D- damn it. <laughs> I forgot. Anyways. You forgot the name? <laughs> <laughs> Is it like Nerdly Online or something? No, that's their website. Um, Nerdly out loud. <laughs> Nerdly out loud. Thank you. <laughs> Best intern in the business. Woo. Uh, anyway, wasn't there going to be an announcement this week about him getting promoted or something? Who? Brian? Uh, that's next week. Next week. It's always next week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, here. So, Jeff, how are the sugar cookie Pez? Um, they don't taste like sugar cookies. They taste like. Artificial sweeteners. <laughs> hey, yeah. Doug. It's, oh. a, it's a little pellet of Splenda. <laughs> Doug, this you entertainment... Put your tea if you want to sweeten it up. If I, yeah, because I tea is garbage, so <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd garbage it up some more <laughs> with some sugar cookie pez, sure. 
So, Doug, this is the July 10th, 17th, 2015 uh, episode, or, uh-huh. uh, issue. Uh-huh. Aaron Tammy Wiggly. Uh, Jurassic World was the number one film that year. Really? In 2015, yeah. Really? Yeah. Great film. Mm-hmm. Great film. So, it was. Debatable. Debatable. <laughs> mm. No, it was. It was. So, um, yeah. Well, it was a film, so you're half right. That's right. <laughs> Oh, look at Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. <clears throat> I mean, that is just tremendous. <laughs> tremendous. Oh, this is going to be awesome. I feel I'm really excited about this film, Doug. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see here. So, what else we got? Oh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. That did not do well. No. That did Nothing not do quite well. captivating like someone reading a magazine <laughs> while you're recording them. Deadpool was coming out. Oh, Ooh. I heard that's good. <laughs> Jeff, Fantastic Four. Fan four stick? Yes. So, just look at his mustache, okay? Just look at it. It's beautiful. Well, I can't because you're reading the magazine. <coughs> you know what, Brian? What's that, Jason? Glad you're here this week. Glad to be here. Yeah. You thought that was going to take a different turn, didn't you? Uh, I mean, okay. It, okay. it could have. Anyways. As long as those Pez don't get opened. Uh, don't unleash the, the Pez. the Peep, sorry. Oh, they'll get opened. <laughs> Didn't They're you hear here. Jeff? He hasn't made dinner. He hasn't had dinner yet. <laughs> there is a mound of sugar on the table. It will get up. Blake, open. I would watch your arm. He's going to start gnawing at it soon. No. Like the chocolate, it's pudding, <laughs> with marshmallow. What more could you want? <laughs> more. <laughs> Something different. <clears throat> uh, we had a Twitter poll of the week this week on Bad Ideas Podcast. You can follow us there. We did. Yeah. What newly released film are you most looking forward to this weekend? We had the bad guys. These aren't peeps. These are bunnies. Oh, sorry. Uh, the North Man. And Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent with Nicolas Cage. Uh, winning 63% to 26% to 11% in that order. The bad guys over the Northmen over the Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. So, are yeah. you okay, Blake? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I tried the Pez. Yeah, don't do it. I really thought you were having a stroke there for a second. That is horrible. I, Cookie. S- I specifically <laughs> said don't do it. Well, I, I want one. I don't one. think I've Try ever had a Pez I never liked. I think that's it. Let me try this. Let me try oh, this. Oh, Doug's brought us other Pez that were terrible before. <laughs> uh, chocolate Pez, I believe. Shrimp. Yeah, yeah. Shrimp Pez. I, I, I eat chocolate Pez over that. <laughs> I would eat that. Oh, that chocolate. goes right up your nasal cavity, doesn't it? Well, when you snort it, it does. <laughs> oh, no. Keep chewing. You'll get the whole range of flavor there. <laughs> that hits your eyes. God. How do you eat? <laughs> You're not supposed to snort it into your sinuses. That's not how you eat pets. That, that was not good. See, I'm going to take... Brian's advice, I'm not going to try it. Actually, it's better because you chew it and you get that residue left in your molars and you're trying to get it out and it's even worse. Try back here now. Yeah. Oh. It's right back here now. Whew. That's what she said. Oh, my okay, goodness. Okay, now, is there any chance Jim doesn't listen to this? So next week, see if you can get him to eat a handful of them. I think that could work. That could work. Jim, fast forward this. That's right. Or don't listen to the first 10 minutes. Go back and just ignore it. Where are the pests? Would you like to try one? I've already tried one. Now I'm just going to eat them all. <laughs> but they're not good. Well, everybody what? everybody got two packets of them in their <laughs> pest containers, so there's plenty for you. See, he's, he, he, what a good brother. He's doing that so you don't feed them to Jim. Oh, I got some. No, he just said we, well, there's ten packets uh, of them here. I didn't so. know if you were going to eat all ten of them. All oh, I'm saying. Open one. Oh, okay, okay. Se- uh, September 23rd <laughs> through 25th, 5th, Cincinnati Comic Expo. Come on down. We'll be playing trivia. And giving away sugar cookie Pez. Just to let you guys know. Well, that's true. We should hold. Yeah, just hold on to it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, so come on down. September 23rd through 25th. Get your tickets now. William Shatner's going to be there. Who else? Uh, Jeff and Jim <laughs> and Hobie. And, Chris uh, Claremont. There you go, Chris Claremont. Yeah, look at that, Doug. What are those celebrities? Uh, I'm getting them to you. Uh, lots of them. Lots yeah. of them. So many. Uh-huh. I can't. So many that I forgot where to start. Yeah, it, but you Paul get Williams? your... Uh, yes, Paul Williams uh, is going to be. A, yeah. Make sure you get your tickets, Doug. Though, since I comic Paul Williams. Did you say Thumb Raider? Songwriter. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, songwriter. Thumb Raider. <laughs> Artist and illustrator Andy Bennett's going to be there. Just to let you know, Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman. I am Batman. That's true. We didn't talk about that, did we? David Mack is going to be there. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, David Aikens, uh, artist in that. Uh, Diane Pershing, the voice of Poison Ivy from that Batman animated series. Uh, Jay Fosgett, we love Jay Fosgett. He's from, uh, um, he's an artist. Does My Little Pony. He's just done a lot of different things. 
Uh, fan? Uh, he's a friend of Dev the Psy Guy, too. <sighs> and Lauren Lester. Uh, he was the voice of Robin and Nightwing. And... Barbecue from the G.I. Joe animated series. Ooh. Don't jump over those electrical wires, kids. Barbecue! <laughs> uh, we just got a message from Brad from the Cinema Guys. What the hell are beaver nuggets? Uh, <laughs> geez. They're like, opened. The how's he listening, opened. how's he listening to the podcast already? Live? We didn't post it. He, he what? Picture up. I put it on our Share Facebook on page. Facebook. <laughs> I, thought, I thought your Patreon subscribers could listen live. Yes, yeah, so you can uh, get your Patreon by sending them straight to Brian. Brian, what's your email? Just send it right to you. Um, Brian at HobiePod at Tumblr.net. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> dot org. Dot org. Because <laughs> we're non-profit according to the PPP one. Yes. So. That's right. Uh, anyways, there you go. Uh, anybody watch anything this weekend? I watched this chocolate pudding marshmallow uh, <laughs> go in my gullet. <laughs> Jeff, I think you only show up into the podcast anymore just for the food. He's the bunny head but first. I'll eat the head first. Mm-hmm. What's that? You always eat the head first. Oh, that's what she said. Ah, Jinx! Uh, Blake, anything you watch this week? No. Oh, my God. No. Blake didn't watch anything? No. We don't have a 30-minute soliloquy? What? No. <laughs> that's depressing. I know. Brian, you? Sorry. Uh, just uh, finishing up Season 5 Night Court. Okay. Still going strong. Uh, season 5 of Arrow? Uh, no. Season one of Arrow? Uh, first nine episodes. Okay. Did you watch the one nope. that Katie Cassidy directed? Nope. <laughs> She's done multiple ones. No nope. one. Uh, okay. Just checking. Nope. Checking. Anybody else want to try these chocolate pudding peeps? They don't look bad. I don't do but peeps. <laughs> that doesn't mean much. <laughs> I mean, they're not beaver bad. nugget good, but they're better than... Uh, Oh, this Sugar one has like it looks has. like she's crying. Look, the eye. They actually oh. smell better than the coffee ones from last well, week. Well, yeah, they do because they're not coffee. Um, Doug, did you watch anything this week? Uh, Very lackluster segment, guys. I thought no, you okay. agree. It wasn't this week, but I, I watched. Uh, was it Reacher? Yeah. Oh. On Amazon, Reacher's Amazon good. Prime. <clears throat> Ser- the series, right? Yes, yes. And and after the series, I caught part of the movie. Mm-hmm. I just uh, the movie not good. Tom Cruise oh, just the movie doesn't. Is horrible. Tom the movie, Cruise yeah, the movie just is. doesn't fit the character. He is not literally. He, yeah, no. like. He, <laughs> I yeah. had no problem with the movie with zero expectations of who Jack Reacher is. Okay. And, you know, I when I saw it, I didn't know he's supposed to be. You know, like a, a six five yeah. uh, mountain six, of a man, yeah. blonde behemoth. But uh, which is not I didn't Tom Cruise. Mind the movie. It wasn't great. But the it, first one was pretty. Okay. The Average. second one was really bad. When you eat the ears off of the bunny, it looks like a <laughs> snowman. Or a brown snowman, so I don't know what snow this is. But Don't eat the brown snow. <laughs> this looks like uh, Santa's sack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, we're, we're oh, moving on. Man. Moving on. So... These aren't bad at all. The pudding ones? Br- Brian, what's the Hopi code for... Uh... Is he? Untidy Venus? Uh, Hobie Pod. Hobie Pod. There yes. we go. I believe you get 20% off. You do. Yes. Now, hold on. Are we supposed to be going to Etsy yet? No, because you can just go. Still boycotting, right? Just go to Untidy Venus on Twitter. Okay, there you Untidy go. Untidy Venus. Use Hobie Pod. You wouldn't save 20%. So, there you go. We love them. Happy birthday, Steve. Happy birthday, Steve. Birthday. Yes, happy birthday, Steve. Hey, Steve. Happy birthday. Uh, let's see. So Jason, I've did you watching. watch anything? Watch the bad guys. The animated film. Um, it's anime because it wasn't Disney. That's a cartoon. Mm-hmm. Um, no, it was good. It was decent. Uh, it was better than Sonic 2. Was it better than the ads make it look? Because the ads make it look terrible. It was enjoyable. It was, it was more of a... Th- um, they did do a little bit of like Ocean's Eleven type thief uh, work. And like multiple times. I liked it. Um, it's not something I would go out of my way for. But it was enjoyable enough. Have any of your kids read the book? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, we were looking at no, that. What Peep is sure. something I'm not you a would peep fan? What is something you would go out of your way for? Um, pretty much anything by Frankie Productions. Any of their films. Really excited about them. I Zombievers. I knew Zombievers. Better. Great film. He didn't go out of his way. For I knew Zombievers. better. Zombievers. He just flipped on his uh, television. Um, Wait, did they have Zombiever DVDs there at Bucky's? 
I did not see any. Okay. I did not see any. Jason, uh, you're going to have to go look for them. I'll I'll look for them. But but speaking of stuff Jason watched. Yeah. Listening to episode 137. Oh, okay. Time Machine. Yes. (laughs) He was talking about, uh, I think, Blake, I don't think, had watched Stranger Things yet. Oh. I believe it was it. And Jason had watched it. Mm-hmm. And then he said he was going to watch it again. Yes. My problem is, my question is, you haven't finished Jessica Jones. Yes. But an other eight-part series you're re-watching. I never watched it. He never re-watched it. Oh, okay. It. Okay. <laughs> I'm four episodes into season two. <laughs> okay. I guess I should watch that, huh? I guess I should. I don't know. Is didn't it just you, a one? Didn't you watch any of the Batman this week? Didn't I see that? Yeah, I watched Batman. The Batman. Now, I... I <sighs> All right, I did watch some stuff. I was rewatching extended versions of Lord of the Rings and Two Towers. So, Jeff, what'd you watch? <laughs> but that, that's not what I want to talk about. Oh, I want to talk God. about the Batman. So, yeah, Batman. you watched it on the HBO Max. Yeah. You know, I did watch a little bit of the Batman on HBO Max, and having seen it in the th- movie mm-hmm. theater, there's no comparison. So, I don't, I don't know if you liked it or not because I watched it on my. Now, granted, it's still a nice size screen, yeah. but it's no movie theater. Screen or surround sound. Well, that's the difference between movie theaters. And I don't think it was as good as watching it on TV. It was average. I mean, watching it on TV was not as good as being in the theater. I like the Riddler. Did you like it? Yeah, I mean, okay. Really like it or no? Yeah, it was. I I think I'm going to go back and watch it again. Just I will actually watch this one again. Um, Sure. Kind of like the Game of Thrones near finale. You know, the Night Watch battle. You know, exactly. Which was too dark. Nobody could see what was going on screen. (laughs) It was just (laughs) kind of. It was a lot of. it was pretty dark. And it like, was. Oh, I can, yeah. But it was it was enjoyable enough, but it wasn't anything like, I don't know. I don't think Robert Pattinson did a horrible job at all, but I don't know. I, there was nothing that stood out. There was no performances that were like, oh, my God, did you see that? Like, there was no Heath Ledger moment or anything like that. Uh, the Riddler was fine. I liked him. It was very good. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I thought I li- Robert Pattinson was great. Did you? Me okay. as well. I didn't dislike I mean, it. I, I didn't think... You, well, well, I already talked about this before. I don't have to go rehash it. People can hop in Doug's time machine and go back and listen to the episode. But yeah, he, he did better than I anticipated. Yeah. You know, it I, wasn't Glitter Boy. No. But could he, like, move that hair out of his eyes, like, when he's just Bruce Wayne? Like, that was really annoying. Just move um, it. That's how you knew it was Bruce Wayne, because the oh. hair was hanging down. Gotcha. Gotcha. Because he's moody, you know. Hey, you remember me. Yeah. Uh, you're Been doing this for two years every night. I'm kind of tired. I'm moody. Can't be Batman. Batman doesn't have hair in his eyes. That's true. 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 Do you know uh, who I am? I again, like Bruce we've Wayne. talked about, I really wish it was an origin film. I, I don't know how it, why he became <laughs> who he is. I mean, it was really sad. Um, but what's his motivation? What drives him? Yeah, could we dress up as a you know um, character? I thought they could have done a little bit more with Catwoman. I was kind of like, yeah. Yeah, it would have been nicer, but you know, once again, they didn't spend <clears throat> origin story time Correct. on her. She's a char- she's a person, and I like the mob ties. Them. I like that part. I um, thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. That was I think okay. the biggest thing is they probably threw too many mm-hmm. characters in there because, like I said, you had Catwoman, but not enough time to flesh her out. Flesh her out. Yeah, you had Marconi, you had Penguin. You had yeah, you had yeah. pre Marconi, whatever Oni that guy was. Yeah, Falcon was Falcone. Falcone, Falcone. Falcone and Marconi. Marconi. No, seriously. No. Before Falcone, it was Marconi because they yeah. offed him or something. Yeah. And I like Falcone in it. Um, Riddler, Penguin. Penguin was Penguin okay. Was good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Penguin was good, but... I'm, I'm really looking forward to this, this this series that they're doing with him. I was kind of surprised. I thought there would be a lot more of the Penguin. Which, again, I get. Yeah. For a three-hour again. film, though, I thought there would yeah. be a lot more of him. No, it was more Riddler and Batman. Yeah. And, and a little bit of Falcone sprinkled. Commissioner Falcone. Gordon was good. Commissioner Gordon was good. Yeah. Um... You know, overall, I mean, like I said, I enjoyed it. Um, I don't think it was in the top three of Batman's I've seen. Probably right in the middle. Oh, well, wait a minute. It would mean top three that I've seen. Mm, me as well. Because I like Batman Begins. I like The Dark Knight. Uh, I, like the, I still like the 1988 Batman with uh, Jack Nicholson as the Joker. I mean, I, I'm not trying to be an ass. I like the 1960. Uh, sixth version of feature like film. Batman Returns because it's got nah, Michelle Pfeiffer. Nah. You know, Catwoman. You uh, know. The Penguin was awful in that. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought Danny DeVito was great. I just thought the whole direction of the, of yeah. the Burton movies were, like I said last week, doesn't hold up. Yeah. I, I liked it until they put rockets and missiles on the back of Penguins. <laughs> At that, that point, I said, that's yes. fucking stupid. <clears throat> but yeah, it was, 
It was like I said, it was fine. That's when Burton was like probably high or something. Like, oh, I got an idea. As high as Johnny Depp is? Have probably. you seen his deposition? Whoa, Nelly. Yeah. I, I avoid that stuff. I uh, every time I go scroll on Facebook, they have like Johnny Depp, you know, and they have like a video that automatically starts. It's like, no, I, I, don't, I don't want this. Uh, but him and Paul Bettany uh, allegedly are pretty big uh, drug users together. So just oh, yeah. let you guys know that. Well, here, here's something that's interesting. You know what? Why is there? I, mean, I saw a pretty good meme about it. And you really think about it. You know, why is Amber Heard? I mean, because they're popular figures. Mm. Why are cameras and everything televised? I don't know. Out the yin yang and publicized about that. But yet, Epstein's pimp handler for yes. trial is fucking close to the public. Yes. Why? Yes. Why? You know, because she, the people in control didn't want Epstein's pimp handler information <laughs> public? Probably. I think you're absolutely right, man. It's Dan Clinton's. Anyways. Yeah. Um, Great. Now the, now the podcast, we're all going to end up mysteriously dead next week. Uh, sorry, Doug. You picked the wrong week to pitch. <laughs> <laughs> mm, damn. How Jim's Jim lucky. Know? Damn it. Uh, you think Ezra Miller's... Uh, uh, trials are going to be publicized. Well, hold on. That's uh, that's a that's a good lead in to uh, we got questions coming in from listener feedback. Uh, did about. you? I like the memes coming out for Ezra Miller though. I think the one was uh, more people have been attacked by Ezra Miller in Hawaii than sharks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was good. <laughs> There's a couple of those. If you're on an island with Ezra Miller, go to mainland quick. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, yes. um, what did you watch this week, Jeff? I started watching the original British version of Ghosts. Oh, they're going to say, are you being served? No. <laughs> Damn it. How is that? Uh, it's pretty good, too. Okay. How how long is that, do you know? They have three seasons of, like, six or eight episodes a season. Um, What is that on? Uh, HBO Max. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Ghost, we've been kind of binge watching, like trying to get some of these shows done, and that um, Ghost is fine. I don't have a problem with it. It's right. enjoyable I'm, enough. Yeah, I'm enjoying it, which surprised me because I thought it looked terrible. I thought for a while the Viking guy in the American version was gone. Like he was gone for like two or three episodes. I'm like, they kind of all rotated. You know, is that there's been a couple of them, one or two usually not in. Okay. I guess there's like eight main ghosts, and usually one or two might not be in an episode or something. I like the cl- collar rug uh, people underneath the steps or in the basement. Yeah, um, in, in the British version, they're plague. The plague. Yeah. <laughs> so is it? Do you like the American or British better? I don't know. Okay. Um, there are parts of each I like better than the other one. I think I'm leaning towards the American because. Because there's, like, one of the ghosts on the British one that just kind of annoys me more so than okay. anything else. We just got the episode where the lead character saw her mom at the restaurant. Ah. So we just got done with that one. So we're a little bit behind. So you saw her get sucked off? Yes. Okay. Yes. When they get go up to heaven. Oh, wow. They're like, okay. oh, she got sucked <laughs> off. <Okay. laughs> so, um... Yeah, because we were like trying to, get, we're going between that and this is us. Like binge watching both because you need to have a break after this is us. And it's like, oh my god, and fucking Kate's the worst. God, she's terrible. She is horrible. So are you caught up on this is us? No, no. Caught up on a million old things. No. Stopped no. watching that, didn't you? Uh, we're going back. We're going to binge watch it. We got like fifteen episodes. We're getting it. <laughs> we're going to France. Oh, shut the fuck up. Why don't you take that Theo kid with you? No, they don't take Theo with them. Damn it! Damn it! Hey, Blake, why don't you do some listener feedback? All right, that sounds... Means it's time for listener feedback, sponsored by Five Guys and a Beaver Joke. Oh. Perfect. (laughs) 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 Thanks, Uh, Maria. So, anyways, we everybody should know by now. We start off listener feedback <laughs> with this this guy in his time machine. Read your own feedback. A hey, pants, uh, formerly known as Seven Dad, nope. Big D. So I have to tell you a story. We were at Easter, 
and Doug got an ice cream set. <laughs> yeah, time out. Time out. Drumstick. Got a drumstick out of the freezer. <laughs> and I swear to God, I thought he got the miniature one. <laughs> I looked at him and I was like, does Mama Lee have the miniature drumsticks? No, there's a regular size one. It's like, oh my God, your hands are huge. <laughs> <laughs> they're normal size. No, they're not. Yeah. The drumsticks <laughs> were, but they're not in your hands. You know what they say about guys with yeah. big hands. Big feet? They wear big gloves. Oh, that's right. <laughs> There's a time machine challenge for you. Go find the episode where we named you Ape Hands. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought they were miniature drumsticks. I really did. <laughs> There's no chance in hell because it was just a passing comment from you. <laughs> Aren't you glad Blake's here, Doug? <laughs> oh, yeah. He always delivers. Did, did we have a sponsor right. for this? Yeah, five guys in a beaver oh. truck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, what would you want the post credit scene of your life to be? Ooh. A blooper reel. <laughs> <laughs> like it? Um, Porn. I was going to say one big <laughs> sex scene. <laughs> Real or imagined, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Preferably real, but, but you know. But it's the post of your life, so you're dead. So who's who's involved in this? <laughs> it's a flashback. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. A fantasy flashback. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, or it's a heaven orgy. I don't think they have orgies in heaven, do they? It's a terrible place to go, and I don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a hell orgy. I don't know if I want to go there either. <laughs> Sounds sticky. You're not going to be having well, Hold fun. on. If you believe in the polygamous God, <laughs> you're going to be fine. You're in. Uh, but, but, uh, Brian, what's your name? Uh, what's your uh, post credit scene? Um, probably the post credit scene from Rambo when he's going home. Doug, what's yours? Um, this one's a hippo. <laughs> And more crackers. Beaver, Beaver buddies. buddies. What is oh, it? I mean, they do. They're both from the the water, so yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. it does. Doug, what's your post credit scene? Uh, I believe my buying hand, a horse. My hand coming up from the grave. Oh God! Yes. Be like a excavator coming up from the grave. Okay, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> so it's like a Jason Voorhees movie. <laughs> Tales from the Crypt. Where's my cake? <laughs> Where's my gloves? Give me them. Where's my buckies? Would you be cradling the grave? Uh, I don't believe so. Or to the grave. Cradle to the grave. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what else we got, please? Okay, uh, next. Uh, you're going to have to extrapolate on this for me, please, because I guess there's no, like, uh, they don't put food in refrigerators or whatever they call them in New Zealand. They don't have refrigerators. From Nikki at Pink <laughs> Oliphant. Says, what snacks are okay to store in the fridge? Ones that require refrigeration after the, opening? The perishable ones. Peanut butter? No. No. Peanut butter? No. No. Jelly? Je- jelly, yes. Um, is jelly a snack? Everything can be a snack. <laughs> jelly, well, no, yeah, jelly. Yeah. Jelly is part of a snack you may. I don't even like snack snacks. Like beaver buddies. Uh, Reese's peanut butter cups? You'd never put your beaver buddy in the fridge. <laughs> Never. <laughs> uh, or your beaver nuggets. <laughs> uh, I would say uh, Reese's peanut butter cups. Freezer. Uh, and I've done freezer in those. No fridge. Freezer. Okay. okay. I'll trust you. Snickers There's bars in a freezer is pretty good. Delightful. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, Got to have good teeth for those, though. Yes. I guess any So obviously, cold. Kentucky out the door. Hey. Sorry. No, sorry. put in your ice box. Oh, sorry. Uh, next to your outhouse. Uh, let's yeah. see what else. Um, any other food, Doug? You got any? Mm, no. Peas. Um, any, Z- you, you know, zero cold? bars. Yeah. Zero bars too. Have you ever have a zero bar in a freezer? I've not. Uh, a Snicker. Have you try. ever had a zero bar? I have. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's my next <laughs> question. Not my favorite candy bar. Mm-hmm. No Out one there. ever picks zero bars it's, as their it's favorite. A, it's a uh, sub Snicker. It is the best way. A, I can describe no, you don't. It is one a of them. Favorite of Doctor Dana. Really? Oh, there you go. Yes. <laughs> must be a Canadian thing. Yeah, it must be. Must be. Must be. You know, you can put your zero bar in for her and your Snickers. That sounded dirty. There you go. Uh, <laughs> take the high road, uh, Blake. He said for her. Oh, okay. Yes. Dude. 
Brian, I'm so glad you're here this week. I'm, I'm still glad to be here for some reason. <laughs> I'm trying to think what snacks are not okay to put in the fridge. Peanut, oh, butter. peanut butter. Peanut butter. Um, eggs? Cheese. You should probably keep cheese in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And don't tell me that's not a snack. Cheese sticks. <laughs> cheese sticks. Pepperoni. Pepperoni. You don't need to put pepperoni in your fridge. No, you do. Okay, okay, it's not a snack. But what about? They don't even sell it in the <laughs> refrigerator. <laughs> yes. But I put it in the fridge. <laughs> I would put it in the fridge after open. <laughs> open. No, yes. no, it always goes in. Okay. Hot dogs. Okay, it's not a snack. But what about ketchup? Oh yeah, fridge. At restaurants, it's not in. It's it not. It doesn't have to be. Although we keep ours there. Yeah. How about mustard? Did Maybe because mustard? people I go don't through use mustard. ketchup bottles faster than you would on your own at home. Uh, it could be. It doesn't doesn't need the, to be the turnover rate in the restaurant. Turnover. Turnover. According right, to right. the article I read of these things should not be stored in your fridge, ketchup was one of them. Yeah. Really? Hot sauce. Well, you know, your son was doing natural science homework tonight. Maybe yes. we should ask him this ketchup question. That should be true. I believe most of these things are once they've been opened. No. What about mustard? That's what I yeah. said. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Mayonnaise? I don't How about mustard? mayonnaise? After it's open, <laughs> definitely mayonnaise. Just leave it out. Um, Deviled eggs? <laughs> <laughs> Just leave it to sit there. It's just butter. Oh, yeah, just it's leave just it been out. It's sitting in the back seat of my car all day. I was waiting for somebody to say that. Good job, Brian. <laughs> um, and don't tell me butter's not a snack. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jeff just sits there uh, eating it by the stick. <laughs> well, hold on. It depends. Salted or unsalted? <laughs> well, salted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ask Jeff if he wants salt on his snack? Come on. Hmm. <laughs> That wasn't a fat joke. That was a no. diabetes joke. <laughs> Although usually, yeah, they go I'm, hand I'm not in a big hand. fan of salted <laughs> snacks. Really? Yeah. And you don't like salty things. That's right. Um, uh, sweet, yeah. yeah, sweet. yeah. As, as you can tell <laughs> by looking at me, I like sweet things. Pretzels, you don't need to put them in the fridge. Pretzels don't go in the fridge. No. But can they? She doesn't say should they. She just says can. And my oldest would well, be well, ones would, are okay. Would they make it bad if you Well, according did to my oldest son, when he gets his lunch... And he, if we make it for him and he's like, Dad, you got to put the pretzels on the island because, you know, I can't have them in the overnight, like, in the fridge with my other lunch. Because when you take them out, it's hard. It's soggy. Oh. What are you putting them in? It's just cold. It's called science, Jason. No, oh, it's the Do hard Do you pretzel. put right. them in a container or a bag of bag. some sort? A bag. Okay. Separate Ziploc bag. Ziploc bag. Yeah. This is exciting snack talk. What else we got over there? But I mean, if it's a Ziploc bag, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. Wet he doesn't like the cold, though. He doesn't like the cold. When always. does he eat these? Uh, nine thirty. Nine thirty lunch. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, hours after he's been at school and are still cold. On <laughs> I guess I don't know. Yeah, um, they they go to school outside. They don't have buildings oh. out here, so that's why. Oh, you, he goes in California. Is that what it is? Yes, yeah, yes, okay. yes, yes. See, and our, now our next listener for mm-hmm. listener feedback is probably compiling <coughs> a corrections list of everything we just mentioned. Okay. So, of course, I'm talking about Dev, <sighs> the Psy Guy. Mm-hmm. He says, what are the worst gimmick matches WWE and WCW ever did? Doug, you got any on this? <sighs> Judy Bagwell on a pole match. Um, yes. Viagra on a pole match. Viagra. So you're saying on a pole matches? Yeah. What's on a pole match? It's being held. Uh, it's, it's like something is at the end of a pole. Yes, that you, that you have to climb up and get. At one time, it was uh, Marcus Bagwell's mom was up there. Uh, okay. Another so one. these are women on a pole. It was just one. That was just one. That, that was just one. The other one. Oh, was just one. Viagra pills were up on a pole. Yes. Oh boy. There was another match. I can't think of who was in it, but. There were two big guys, and neither one could climb the pole. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody won. I think one? Jimmy Hart had to do it. I can't remember who was in it though. Uh, on an is, episode of Monday, is the pole greased? No. Oh. The bulldog, the British bulldog, wait, my sons, was challenged to a dog poo match by The Rock. I remember this, where mankind wind up bringing a tray full of poop to the ring. The winner of the match had to drive their opponent into the p- a tray of poo. Okay, that's pretty bad. Okay, what about Kennel in a Cell? Ken on a cell with the boss man, Al Snow, was Personally, possibly I'll say one of the worst any ones. of the uh, casket matches, mm-hmm. those were all mm-hmm. stupid. But then again, The Undertaker was a stupid character. So, what about the Chambers, of, the Chambers of Horror match where you put a, the guy into the electric chair? Abdullah the Butcher got yes. electrocuted, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm just looking at the worst ones here to try and get one. Any of them with Shane McMahon? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
What about that three tower cage that WCW yeah, that, did that David Arquette one? So David Arquette or Vince Russo won that one? I don't know. Either yeah. one. Um, let's see here. I was just trying. Uh, Brawl for All. How about that? When uh, Remember Bart Gunn knocked oh. out. Uh, <laughs> I saw like two or three of the uh, Dark Side of the Ring. Uh, mm-hmm. And I saw the Brawl for It All episode. That was awesome. <laughs> That was awesome. I would say I'll go out on mostly in independent uh, matches, scaffold, uh, scaffold match, mm-hmm. when they fall 40 feet or 30 feet straight down. Horrible idea because you're on a scaffold, scaffolding, and you can't move, so you just punch. And so it's basically there's no other moves, and basically it's just somebody falls off. Have a good time. You can get an arm bar done. <laughs> eh, maybe. Move number 1002. Uh, you, know. you can new jacket. Uh, <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um yeah, I think that's that pretty most much of the comes. wedding gimmicks are pretty bad. Yeah, they, like for the most part, um, never really was a fan of those. the winner gets to marry Stephanie matches. Yeah. <laughs> not, not you're not talking about the wedding of what Chuck and Billy. Sure, we'll throw that one in there okay. too. Uh, there was a San Francisco 49ers match in the WCW. Guess who made that one, Doug? Vince Russo. Yep. Uh, it was a pool match, basically a take of the beloved pool matches. Uh, the 49ers match came about on Nitro. The match placed four wooden boxes on two poles situated in two different corners of the ring. Each box container, containing either the world title or one of the three gag weapons. A Scott Hall frame picture, a blow-up doll, or a coal miner's glove. What does this have to do with the San Francisco? <laughs> did one of them... I don't know. That's the interesting. Did one of them have Colin Kaepernick <laughs> lying in wait? <laughs> I'm over here! I can still throw a ball! Please, someone! Hey, you want to go to the XFL? I'm not doing that. No, 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 no. no. So, uh, so yeah, there, there you go, Dev. I like that one. Oh, the, yeah, Doug, the reverse battle royal. I think I sent this to you in TNA. You had to throw people into the ring? Yes! <laughs> and basically, at one point, AJ Styles is literally standing on the apron of the ring, just waiting. <laughs> and they're like, just go out. <laughs> like, it was bad. It was not good. So, uh, let's see here. Anything else? Uh, from Cassidy at CSS35005. Oh. Who has fallen faster and harder, Johnny Depp or Ezra Miller? Ezra Miller fall faster anyway. Mm-hmm. But not as high of a fall as Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp said yesterday during his deposition, or his, um, what do you call it? Testimony. Testimony, thank you, uh, was that he was quite upset that Disney fired him because of this. Because yeah. he really wanted to give a proper ending for Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to be for Grindelwald. <laughs> <laughs> yes. for. Uh, I mean, Eva. proper ending for Sparrow. There is no proper ending for Sparrow. He never ends. Yes, it is. He goes to court. <laughs> that's what Jack, that's what's Jack happening. <laughs> he, he meets Amber Heard. Aqualady. Yeah, Mara. <laughs> Mara. <laughs> Maybe this is accurate. <laughs> Maybe we're just watching uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 6 right now. That's it. <laughs> no, we're watching DC Aquaman 3. <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh, let's do a trial. Call it Aquaman 2. <laughs> Doesn't matter. No, no, just do it. <laughs> we're going to be awesome. Jack, Jack Sparrow against <laughs> Aqua Lady. <clears throat> we don't have the right. What's rights. your name? What's Aqua Lady's name? What's your name? Mara. 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 Yeah. Jack Sparrow and Mara. You know, we don't have uh, rights to Jack Sparrow. I'll just go ahead and do it. We'll have him play himself. (laughs) But he has to keep his hair long and walk around like he's drunk and stoned. Uh, That is himself. (laughs) It's kind of sounding like the uh, Patton Oswalt uh, filibuster from that episode. uh, (laughs) Parks and Rec? Uh, Rec. uh, Can we get Torch Boy in here? Yeah, get Torch Boy. Yeah, we got Torch Boy. No, the guy that turns on fire. Yeah, yeah. So what but I want a close-up of the shit in the bed. <laughs> so, can we make the bed clear? Put a camera underneath? Get, get a German director in here. He'll take care of it. I got a, I got a porn tape like that. I'll just throw that in. <laughs> Halfway through the movie, just to see if it switch over to like the old porn. <laughs> Okay. 1970s. VHS. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why nobody likes DC as much as Marvel. We're doing great artist stuff. <laughs> the audio would be like two seconds behind the visual, <laughs> and very hissy. <laughs> so you like a record player. So then Amber or Mara was in my bed. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
So, so just out of curiosity, Al Brian, Shaitan yeah. in mind bedda, yeah. <laughs> Do the showers. <laughs> Go get a shower. Jesus Christ, Jason, really? <laughs> I'm talking about cleaning yourself <laughs> off. Kind of makes you miss the days of I'm making. <laughs> Nope, never miss those days. Uh, I don't know why she's got a shower. She's an aqua lady. She's always in water. I don't know. I don't get it. She's always moist. Yeah. <laughs> all the all the listeners we brought in from the Bucky's post, and then can we get some beavers in here? Here, I'm all turning it off right now. They don't like our bad Hollywood executive stories. Come on, give me Amy Pascal on the phone. Yeah, she could solve it. Yeah, she could solve anything. Let's make Venom three. If only we ran Sony. <laughs> Are you loading your gun? Are you shooting yourself? <laughs> You're right there. <laughs> put the pez, put the pez down. Put the Re- pez down. Reloading my reindeer. Oh, okay. Brian, you want to say it? Yeah. Uh, I've been wanting to say it. Go ahead, say it. Say it. What are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you got a more gassy fishing car to come out here for this stuff. You know, That's right. <laughs> I just like that Brian has a catchphrase now. Like if we had a studio audience, as soon as he says, everybody would be like, "Yay!" <laughs> so, so. And I, I could be wrong, but is this like the first question from Cassidy? Yes. And, Probably and, the last. And this, is, <laughs> and this, this is how you handle it. So I hope that answered your question. <laughs> yeah, Cassidy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm Ezra Miller. I'm fat. <laughs> Woo. I'm going to throw a chair at you. Did you just hiss like a cat? Because <laughs> I'm fast. <laughs> that was him breaking out and run. <laughs> That's right. All right, so Hollywood execs next week. All right, Professor Number One and Doctor Number One, we're wrapping it up. How? I mean, you know, after that last question, you know, I got this one. How crazy is the Christmas war between networks becoming? I didn't know there was one. Oh, there is. Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries is dead in the water as Candace Cameron Burr accepted a luc- right. accepted a lucrative offer. <laughs> To Shug. Move, it's Shug. To move to Sony's Aqua Lady 3 from Hallmark Channel to the Gak family with promises of starring in and producing more Christmas films. I think we need to ask uh, Neil and Anna. Yes. Uh, a lot of people are jumping ship between Hallmark and Gak and, um, and ABC Family and all that stuff. What's GAC stand for? I have for? no idea. Great American Christmas Films Channel? Great American Country. <laughs> uh, I like your answer better. Right. No, no, that's a misnomer. What's that? That it's not great or it's not American or it's not country? Well, it can't be great and country. <laughs> <laughs> well, now they won't come on the show. It can only be country and western. <laughs> great. Now Tim McGraw won't come on the show. Thanks, Glenn. I- if Tim McGraw wants to come on this show, I'll step out for a week. <laughs> Getting Faith Hill come on the show? Well, she's always allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not barring Faith Hill from coming on Is anybody on this banned show. from being on the show? Tara Reid. <laughs> Tara Reed. No, you'd let her on if she decided she wanted to come uh, on. Only one of the, her boobs, though. The other one me. can't make, fit through. Only them. if we could talk about scrubs. Only if we can get Scab Morris in here for Yes, me. that's right. That's Scab right. Jeff. Uh, Kevin Spacey would not be allowed. He doesn't do well with basements. Um, anyways, uh, let's do some news of the geek. It's time for news of the geek with Jason Brigger. Per the New York Times, where Doug gets all of his news from. Uh, in a move that stunned the media and the tech world, did it though? Uh, Warner Brothers Discovery, led by Amy Pascal, said on Thursday they will abruptly shut down CNN Plus on April 30th. There's no Amy Pascal on that. While today's de- quote, while today's decision is incredibly difficult, is it? It is the right one for the long-term success of CNN. Chris Licht, the network's incoming president, told staff, the "Shutdown is an end to an operation in which CNN sank tens of millions of dollars." from a nationwide marketing campaign to hundreds of newly hired employees to big tra- contracts for na- uh, name brand anchors, including former Fox News Sunday host Chris Wallace. What does he care? He's got a contract. You got paid already. Yeah, you got to sit at home for three years. And former NPR co-host Audie Cornish. It collapsed just two days after Netflix reported a quarterly decline in subscriptions for the first time in a decade. P- 
potential warning sign for major me- major media companies joining the increasingly crowded field of streaming services. Maybe this just shows that maybe don't put a, cra- a crappy streaming service out, right? Or I would well, think yeah. that if your ratings have been falling for the past two years, maybe try not to make people pay for your shit. Yeah. Uh, the abrupt demise of CNN Plus, as well as Netflix projection that will lose 2 million more subscribers over the next three months, has raised questions about how many people are willing to pay for numerous streaming services uh, and also how profitable they can become. CNN Plus was the brainchild of CNN's former corporate parent, Warner Media, and its former president, fuck this guy, Jeff Zucker, who envisioned a digital product with a big name host that could buttress. The network amid a decline in traditional cable viewership. <laughs> you, you, you said butt trip. You don't have to reference any Cuomos in this. Sorry. <laughs> but the service had a powerful skeptic, David Sasloff, the chief executive of executive on Discovery, who was on the verge of complete a merger with Warner uh, Media when they put he was put in control of the network. Uh, Mr. Zucker left in February when he had an undisclosed romantic relationship with his colleague. Uh, let's see here. That yeah, wasn't the only reason. Correct. But that's down the hall. Down the hall. Jason Keelar, nice last name, the Warner Media Chief Executive, forged ahead, uh, launching the streaming platform on March 29th to the frustration of the Discovery leadership. We spent this much amount of money, and it's a bad idea, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, we're buying your company. No, no, we're going to keep Try going. It. Keep going. Uh, it quickly became apparent that Mr. Zaslov had a very different view on digital strategy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on April 11th, the first business to have Discovery's ownership, J.B. Perrette, who you might know from the TV series Dallas, uh, Discovery's global head of streaming convened... What the- <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like a name. J.B. Perrette. Come on down and get your used car at J.B. Perrette. He's the guy that shot JR. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, convened a meeting and had a message. Fuck you all. We're quitting. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> You're all, you all made the team, except for you, you, and you. <laughs> and you, and you. And you, and you. These are what business case studies are made <laughs> out of. I'm serious. Marketing of CNN Plus was to be suspended. Executives at Warner Brothers Discovery wanted to merge its other subscription platforms, Discovery Plus and HBO Max, into one giant streaming service. It's happening. Yeah. They were... Uh, they were not convinced that a niche, niche product like CNN Plus would be viable on its own. Uh, the merger left the conglomerate owning, owing about $55 billion, <laughs> which executives are now under pressure to repay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for less than that, you can buy Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> executives at CNN Plus said they had secured 150,000 paying subscribers and were on pace to hit first-year subscription goals. But Discovery was not impressed. At any given time, fewer than 10,000 people were watching the service. This is almost as low as Byron Allen's TV channels. <laughs> only 150,000 subscribers? And only 10,000 of them were watching. The, and the funny thing was, just last week, I was listening to a commercial of pay now like a one-time month fee for a lifetime subscription to CNN+. Plus. Well, lifetime being one more one month. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the, I mean, one month. Of the, well, there, not even one month. Uh, more than 300 employees had already started working for CNN Plus. Network said it would try to transfer them to open positions in the company. You have 300 open positions in your company? Wow. Well, they are in the middle of merging HBO Max and Discovery Plus. You get a channel. You get a show on Discovery Plus. I'm a. <laughs> I, I'm a intern. Doesn't matter. You're on. <laughs> I didn't say these were all the on-air talent. I know. Okay. I'm an intern. You want to build a house? You got a show on HGTV. <laughs> can, can you do a bad uh, Hollywood executive impersonation? <laughs> I know the podcast just for you, pal. Uh, an- <laughs> Layoffs are likely for people who are not placed in new jobs. Well, that's that's thrilling news, right? <laughs> well, you're either going to get a new job or laid off. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> really don't have many yeah. other options. I mean, your current um, job will be gone if it isn't already. They would receive at least six months of severance. Uh, existing subscribers will receive prorated refunds. Oh, good. <laughs> What's the prorated on a lifetime? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here's a fraction of a cent. Doug. Yeah. CNN Plus. What are you going to do with your subscription? I, I, think the, <laughs> I think the big takeaway from this. Yes. Is I never want to hear a comment about Quibi again. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, never again. You know what? Change approved. I You're mean, correct. Quibi CNN had more Plus. content. 
<laughs> at only five minutes at a time. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, CNN news stories are like that, too. Yeah, uh, yeah so uh, Quibi, you're Wait, off the hook. CNN was giving news stories? <laughs> Just as much as Fox. I mean, you're, you're, was it news they were giving, or was it opinions and talking heads and pundits? Are you talking about Fox, MSNBC, or CNN? I was talking about CNN Plus. Oh, yes. So, Quibi, you're off the hook. Brian, the number one investor at Quibi, you're off the hook now, too. We will I, no longer I've make fun of it. On the hook. I, oh, you've been on the hook. I, I don't want to hear you're off the hook. I want to hear... Brian, oh, I apologize. Sorry. Thank you. That's what I think you I didn't make CNN Plus. <laughs> Why am I apologizing? You should be apologizing for all the crap you gave Quibi, when obviously CNN Plus is even worse. Brian, CNN I, Plus wasn't around when he gave crap to Quibi. Hey, Brian, I apologize that there's a crappier service than Quibi. So, good job. You're not the worst. I do not accept. You're n- Quibi's not the slowest gazelle. Yay. We'll just, we'll just cut that in editing where it says, Brian, I apologize. We'll just leave it that. Hey, yeah. man, don't, don't press your luck on your promotion that's coming next week. <laughs> I yeah. said no offense. Yeah. Uh, we actually have to make cuts at Hobie. <laughs> that's what you should have also included. I mean no disrespect, but... Uh, Brian, we're actually going to have to lay you off because we have 300 new employees coming from Discovery, uh, CNN+. Plus. <laughs> it's going to be a really crowded room in here. <laughs> okay, but... <laughs> they're, they're, they're getting on CNN Plus. H- how good is Discovery Plus doing? Uh, not I good. heard it was doing well. Well, yeah. Really? What's on Discovery Plus? I have I have Discovery no idea what's stuff. On Discovery oh, it's Plus. all the uh, HG shit and uh, 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 oh, TLC. Re renovate your home. Oh, List it or that. love it. Yeah. List it or leave it. A lot of the, uh, oh, shit. what do you call it? Uh, Home renovation shit. Yeah, what's their names? Chip and Joanna Gaines, uh, their oh, okay. Magnolia Network stuff. 22... Property Bros. Uh, 22 million subscribers. Yeah. Wow. That's more than the 150,000. <laughs> so Discovery <laughs> Plus has Discovery, TLC, Animal Planet, Food Network, H- food food HGTV, stuff, yes. A&E, History, Lifetime, Own... Which is, I believe, Oprah's. Yes, yeah. Travel Channel, Science Network. That's a lot. Uh, ID. Oh, that would be fun. Independence Day. Yes, that's all they show. (laughs) The the Travel Channel. Do you get the actual travel shows that used to be on the Travel Channel, or is it just all the ghost shows they show now? Ghost. Boo. Uh, Was it Ghost Hunters? uh, Yes. What's the name? Let me let me subscribe and find out. Uh, they now have 24 million by the uh, by March 2022. Mm-hmm. They had 24 million at the end of the month. I used to watch Samantha Brown all the time. Mm-hmm. I used to fantasize of traveling with her. <laughs> Way to turn it dirty. Thanks for a Blake. second. I thought you meant the uh, psychic. Oh, what are you talking about? I didn't mean anything dirty. She was exciting. She knew everywhere to go. They gained, she'd be her perfect host. They gained two million subscribers in from February to March. It's pretty good. Good for them. Uh, let's see here. Now, uh, when it would be a lot more exciting the question than is when, is when did, Disco- did Discovery and HBO Max merge yet? So were they just getting all the HBO Max subscribers? No, no, they haven't merged yet. Um, well, there was a thing on our uh, uh, Facebook page, History of Bad Ideas, uh, that we have basically hit the apocalypse of too much TV. Like, the article was basically Sean Penn and Julia Roberts are in a TV show and no one cares. And they're like, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, this would have been monumental. Everybody will have t- tuned in. Like, these two big Hollywood stars are in a, a TV show. When, when you put something on the Stars Network, I don't care who's <laughs> in it. Is that what channel it's on? Yes. Oh, okay. But, I mean, Maybe it has I'll a point. i watching that when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever feel like you just... Or, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It started with Kirby. Be good, be good, be good. Be no, good. go ahead and say it. Nope. Uh, we have officially reached the Too Much TV apocalypse from the DailyBeast.com. Oh, Rawr. <laughs> Daily Beast. Arr. <laughs> Fine news publication. But it's true. I mean... How many engagements did that post get? I'm just asking, you know, you know, because some posts that I put up, you know, just did... Really 6,000. Yeah. 6,000. Not as good as Boucher's. <laughs> Boucher. Per deadline, where Brian gets his news. Uh, HBO. I, mean, I do get a lot of it from there. So. HBO Max's live action DC Comics comedy movie, The Wonder Twins, has found its two leads. <laughs> oh, comedy yeah. movie. How funny can a bucket of water be? Oh, it's go- <laughs> you're going to find out. 
KJ Apple from Riverdale, baby. Those abs never stop. The question is what they can do with a bucket of water when they also have a gorilla with a bazooka. <laughs> That's right. Or a water beast. Oh, now you're not even trying. Uh, Isabel May, 1883. Uh, she's from 1883. Not the year. Never mind. The TV series. Uh, we'll play Zahn, Zan, and Jaina. Jaina. The heroic twins who first debuted in animation before making the leap to comic books. So, just out of curiosity, would, would you take a bath in a tub full of KJ Apple water? I don't think that's even up for debate. <laughs> I mean, that, you knew that water has ripples in it like his abs, so, oh, man. Jaina. I would bathe. Form my, of a Bucky. <laughs> Beaver. I would, Doug, I would bathe myself in a KJ Apple. Uh, anyways, very, <laughs> while very little is known about the movie beyond its comedic tone, Zan is a watery shapeshifter while Jaina can transform into an animal. Hailing from the planet Exor, they were orphaned during a plague. Plague. And gained a pet in Gleek the Space Monkey. Traveling to Earth. Uh, playing Gleek? Uh, a real monkey. Unfortunately, he just ripped off KJ Apa's face. <laughs> but he still has his ass. That's right. <laughs> Traveling to Earth to warn the Justice League about the villain Scrack. This is horrible. This is like t- kids writing this. Yeah. Oh, Who do you better. think wrote the original Wonder <laughs> Twins? It, it gets better. How do, how do you make a How do you make a pair of twins more exotic? I got an idea. They blended into life on Earth by posing as Swedish exchange students. Yeah. There you go. We're from Sweden. We're from Sweden. Yeah. Yeah. Now, was that the Coneheads? <laughs> uh, no, they were from France. Oh, okay. So, all right. So. <laughs> no, the uh, thing about this though. Unless they're going to do some uh, change to the look of the Wonder yes. Twins, they pretty much have black hair. Mm-hmm. Yes. How many Swedes have <laughs> jet black hair? Seven. Seven. <laughs> and, and so this is nine Swedes yes. then? Or <laughs> and they, they usually look pretty tan, too. But here's the thing. Like, DC is talking about, like, bringing their universe together again. 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 Like, how does this fit in? Like, I think, I don't know. Like, it's, it's interesting. I can't wait for the Wonder Twins and Suicide Squad's matchup. Uh, that one would be interesting. Yes. I want to see that. Black Adam and Rampage co-writer Adam Stizlalakul is uh, making his directorial debut on the Wonder Twins from a script he wrote while shooting is set to place in Atlanta over the summer. Ugh. But with Blue Beetle now set for a theatrical release, I'm down for that. This will be the second HBO Max DC Comics movie after Batgirl. Apple's credits include Riverdale, mm-hmm. Songbird, the Hate You Give and Running Through Jason Brugger's Head, while Dunn is best known for 1883 and Young Sheldon. Okay. You excited, Blake? Uh, Andy Serkis plays uh, Gleek, oh. the space monkey. <laughs> I like it. Make it happen. Make it so, number one. Um, I think this is the HB, or the DC movie I am most looking forward to. Really? Of all DC movies ever made, it's not a long list. Well, they made quite a bit, starting with like. No, well, I'm sorry, of good films. Superman. Sorry. Aren't you looking forward to Aquaman too? Eh. Wonder Woman. Amber Heard's supposed to be in it. Oh, that's true. Uh, she shats in the bed. I've I heard. Seen Wonder Woman too? It wasn't that good. You know, it was the dog Blake. It was the dog. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> it was Gleek. <laughs> we named the dog Indiana. <laughs> Uh, Space monkey shat in the bed. <laughs> that stuff doesn't come out either. I don't care how much uh, <laughs> draft you put on it. Uh, quickies. What if you put vapor rise on it? No, get out. <laughs> get out. Yeah. Get out. I guess you could have the Rock and British Bulldog wrestle into it. <laughs> there you go, Blake. Put them in the DC movie. All right, go get some wrestlers. Uh, <laughs> where's the Rock? Yeah. <laughs> anyways quickies after at the first ever dungeons and dragons direct event paramount pictures took the opportunity to delight fans with brief video confirming the title of the film as doug you ready dungeons and dragons colon honor among thieves wow announced and release day of march oh jesus march 3rd 2023 oh i gotta wait almost a full year for this <clears throat> whose birthday is that you don't know that could be a good birthday present. Nope. Yeah. The film has been in production for some time now with no real news leaking outside, aside from a few BTS shots of Fast and Furious and alum Michelle Rodriguez in costume. BTS. This is what concerns me about this movie. South Korean uh, 
K pop band. She's right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's riding a dragon boat fast and furious and wielding a mighty axe. I'm out. It's actually like a lumberjack axe. <laughs> She's just, that's it. Honor Among Thieves will be brought to the screen by Game Night directors John Francis Daly and Jonathan <laughs> Goldstein. Well, we got to trust John Francis Daly because he played Dungeons and Dragons on Freaks and Geeks. That's correct. Who also credited as writers on the film. Brings the characters to life will be Chris Pine. Hey, Chris Pine sliding. Uh, Roger Jean Page from Bridgerton. No. So, what do you have against him? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I think it's your pronunciation. Oh, correct. So Sophia, Sam is, I don't know how to pronounce it. So. Reggae Jean. That's what I said. Sophia no, Lillis yeah. from It and Uncle Frank. Michelle Rodriguez. Oh, fuck. Justice Smith. Fuck you. And Hugh Grant. Do I know who Justice Smith is? Will Smith's kid. I thought it was Jaden. I mean, you're right. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> never mind. Do you have a third kid I'm unaware of? I apologize, Justice Smith. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a Detective Pikachu. I mean, how would you not know? <laughs> he was in Fallen Kingdom, Doug. Jurassic World. Mm. Uh, there you go. Uh, what do you got for box office news? Box office news from April 22nd to the 24th of 2022. Number one, The Bad Guys made $24 million in its opening weekend on a $69 million budget. Nice. Uh, they said um, that this was above fifteen to twenty million dollar expectations. That's what they thought they were going to make, so they were pretty happy with it. Coming in at number two, Sonic the Hedgehog two made fifteen point two million, a total of one hundred and forty six million on a ninety million dollar budget. I think it's almost at three hundred million worldwide. Jeez. Coming in at number three, Fantastic <laughs> Beasts: The Secrets of Dumbledore made another fourteen million. A total of sixty-seven million on a budget of two hundred. This is not million. a three hundred million. <laughs> <laughs> what is it uh, worldwide? I'll find out for you uh, here. I'm just thinking. Uh, I think the Brits like. Uh, fan, uh, Damn you, Brits! You can find us on nerdly.co.uk. Yes. Uh, number four, the Northman made twelve million on its opening weekend on a seventy million dollar budget. I don't think that's making its money back. Uh, maybe it'll make its money back in the international market. Maybe. Yeah, if more people just knew where it was titled. International flair. Instead of just putting up posters <laughs> with no title on it. Oh, yeah, all the people in New York who had That's no right. clue what, what to go watch. Secrets of Dumbledore is at $212 million worldwide. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, so it's, good. Good. it's actually probably making yeah. so 281 Johnny Depp wasn't that big of a deal for yeah. him. Although you just got to, you know, suspend reality. Northman is at $25 million worldwide. Ooh, Total, be, combined. Total, Sorry. yeah. I thought it would be more. But uh, number five, we got the unbearable weight of massive talent made $7.2 million in its opening weekend on a $30 million budget. I thought this would be a lot bigger because of all the hype for it. Yeah, I, I think they are it, hyping though. it, but I don't think there's really that much of an audience for it. It's his biggest opening weekend since 2012. I believe it. For Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage has it's kind of fallen like off lately. Three hundredth <clears throat> movie <laughs> this year. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to go see this. I, I kind of want to see it. Yeah. Upcoming April 29th. Uh, I've got one movie on my mm-hmm. list. It is Memory. Yeah, I can't remember what that's about. <laughs> is it about cats? Butthole cats. <laughs> cats with no butthole. An assassin for hire finds that he's become a target after he refuses to complete a job for a dangerous criminal organization. Tell, tell him who's in it. This is a remake of the 2003 Belgian film The Memory of a Killer. Who's in it? Ah. Uh, it stars Liam Neeson. <laughs> 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 All right. Along with Guy Pierce. Ray uh, Stevenson. Guy Pierce, he was in I Time Machine. I possess a unique set of talents that I can't remember what they were. Set of skills. I'm sorry, he said set of skills. Uh, Jeff, I will say that my oldest son and I watched like 30 minutes of Time Machine with Guy Pierce on a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Whoa. Not as good as Doug's Time Machine. No, not as good. I will take right. Doug's Time Machine. My oldest son was like, this isn't good. No, that's a bad movie. Yeah, Why are you making me watch this, Dad? I th- and I told him, I was like, I really love it. And he's like, why? I was like, because Jeff hates it so much. <laughs> and he's like, oh, okay. I watch it just to torture someone else. But the best is when his fiance kept getting hit by different things. <laughs> just different ways of killing off the fiance. <laughs> he was just a sadist. <laughs> He was a scientist. Anyways. He went through all that trouble just to offer. Yes. 
12 times. <laughs> so he decided to go to the future instead of the past. That's right. It was no memento. Uh, uh, unmemento. Uh, top five this week. Doug, read what you picked. Doug uh, picked uh, Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't pick this. No, you did. No, no, no. I said, hey, what about the uh, best performances of Woody Harrelson? Yes, and then what did you respond after that? Wow, there's not a lot of variety. <laughs> <laughs> everybody I easily found five. 2012. Right, but everybody would have had the same five. <laughs> eh, maybe not. <laughs> so, Pretty Doug. Close. Top five favorite movies of 1983 <laughs> when the Baltimore Orioles won the World Series. What? No, I... Is that? Yes! I didn't even I notice I think that's that. your favorite team, isn't it? Oh, I didn't even realize that. I, I was looking at that. I'm like, why did he choose 83? <laughs> like, 84 as soon is, as like, he's... known to be, like, the, a great year for movies. <laughs> as soon as he said 83, I was like, that son I of had, a bitch. I had picked another year, and he's like, no, we already did that. I was like, okay, well. <laughs> the Forrest Gump year. Uh, let's see here. 95? Du- this was an easy list for me because I was one years old. <laughs> <laughs> but you've seen these films afterwards, right? Uh, well, I mean, yeah. Hopefully five of them <laughs> to make a list. If not, five. If not did you I, call your parents? <laughs> uh, I, I did ask my dad. He, I got a little help. Okay. <laughs> from, my, from my real dad, not my podcast. Oh, okay. Because okay. we would have had the same list. Though. That's right. Gotcha. <laughs> Anyways, so, Doug. So I was like 14 at the time. So this was... God. Yeah. Man. In your prime. Yes. In my prime. <laughs> it's all downhill after that. He was just coming into his hands. Uh, it was just a time. He would sneak into the Beastmaster just for the first five minutes. <laughs> I, I, never mind. I relate to somebody, right? But there, was, there really wasn't a lot of good movies that year. Ah, there were six. Okay. <laughs> I found more than that. Okay, so I went with the one, ones I did remember seeing back then. Uh, number five, I went with Star Chamber. Uh, I, I saw Star Chamber. Michael Douglas, Sorry. Hal Holbrook, judges that were like vigilantes that you know hired, I guess, hitmen to kill people. That have you only seen it once? Probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> in, my list. guess would be probably 1984. I saw it. Okay. So that's that's my number five. A judicial Illuminati of vengeance. <laughs> okay. Starring uh, Liam Neeson. <laughs> he had a, a he'll be in the remake. He had a certain set of skills. Uh, number five for you, Brian. Uh, number five for me, Mr. Mom. Ah, that's a good one. Martin Mall was in that with Michael Keaton. Michael Start Keaton, that's right. Who's the was, mm-hmm. who was the mom or the da- uh, the wife in that? Terry Gar. Terry Gar. Terry Gar. Okay. Yeah. Still alive? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, number five for you. All right. I got eight. I got eight movies on my list. These are movies that I saw when I was yeah thirteen years old. Okay, and I see them again as an adult, and I still like them. Like eight movies. You have eight. Wow. Eight movies for my top five list. Give us your top five. I can't. <laughs> so I'm gonna say, pick a number between one and eight. Eight. Six. God damn it. He's Three. Three. The first one. Three. He's, Hold on. He's eight and six. My number five, I hope he did. I have two. (laughs) Okay. Trading Places. Ah, that's a good one. Which I still quote to this day. My number two. That was my number three. And number eight is Take Off, eh? Strange Brew. Strange Brew. That was my... Okay. Put it on the board. I am removing Trading Places from my list now. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, I guess I am too then. Okay, so that's not (laughs) my number three anymore. so early? Well, you picked a number. (laughs) Jeff, what's your number? I picked six. He picked eight. What's your number five? Well, blame Jason, because uh, he picked eight. You're my right. number five is A Christmas Story. Hmm. That's on my list. <laughs> that is on my list as well. <laughs> Brian only saw five movies, and he took one off. Uh, I had 14. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> How many have you seen? I had seven. Seven or eight. <laughs> <laughs> the rest I was like, oh, yeah, I've heard about that. <laughs> I think I know which one is. Uh, my number five, since I had to change it, uh, The Right Stuff. Uh, that I, was an honorable mention. I didn't know that it came out in 1983. Like I think it was the right stuff, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it was a 90s flick, right? No. No. It would have been higher. Well, actually, it was an honorable mention until the <laughs> <laughs> trading places. Been lower. <laughs> <laughs> until trading spaces got kicked off. But anyways, uh, it was just a long film, though. Really long. But good film. They could have cut all the Chuck Yeager stuff off because no one cared about that. Oh, that fucking asshole. Uh, I wanted to see the space stuff. Not the not the not the guy who didn't make yeah. it as an astronaut. <laughs> Number four for me is Sleepaway Camp. 
a uh, good horror film uh, with a nice little twist ending, and they've remade it many, many times. I really enjoy that film. We're on your number four, and you just read your number three. No, that's my number four. Memory got number bumped. Three. Yeah. Number three, four for you, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> number four for me is Bill Cosby himself. <laughs> It is a very, very, very funny show. Just because the man turned out to be a POS mm-hmm. does not take away from the fact that... Point of so you're talking about his movie comedy special. His movie comedy special, yeah. it yeah. said movies. They didn't specify you couldn't do comedy well, specials. Well, no. It was on the yeah, list right. of movies. Why are you arguing with each other? You're both yeah. making the same point. Yes. <laughs> God. Because I'm more right. Number four, Blake. No, uh, Jeff is more right. So. Pick your number two. My number two, Star Wars, Return of the Jedi. Oh, no, my number one. That's my number That's one. Everybody's list. Didn't you fucked it list. again, Jason. Not, not Brian's. <laughs> number one. Not Brian's. He's Return never seen a Star no. Wars movie. No. I never. never will. Have you seen any Star Wars movies? Never. Okay. Okay. None. But he's got a book about them. I do, and I've been reading it. <laughs> so I know some. So he'll know what we're talking about without. <laughs> I, I know the, the names the ring movie. bells. Uh, number four for you, Brian. Uh, number four for me will go with uh, National Lampoon's Vacation. Fuck you! That's my number one. That's my number four you just said out of your eight. Number one was yeah. oh, number Jedi. two. Sorry, <laughs> Jason. Jason's out. I'll take that one off my list too. I don't have anything else. There were some iconic movies in 1983. No, I've got plenty. No. Uh, number th- four for you, I Doug. Seven and two. Uh, I went with been the Osterman Weekend. Left. I'm sorry, what? The Osterman Weekend. The Ostrich? Three guys are Soviet spies, and they're trying to get yes. one to turn. Uh, okay. Yeah. Cold War shit. Yeah. Number three for you, Doug? Number three, that's my last one. I went with Dr. Detroit. Oh, Dr. Detroit. Uh, Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd, being a pimp. Uh, late Howard Hessman. Yeah. Number three, Brian, go fuck up some more lists. Uh, number three for me would be Scarface. Oh, Okay. I didn't remember seeing Say that. Say hello to my little I friend. Uh, number three, Brian. Or Blake, whoever uh, you can pick between one, one, five, one, and seven. But one. Seven. One. War games. Oh, Matthew Broderick. Well, that's yes. also my number three. <laughs> there you go. Jeff, that was your number three? That was my number three. Put it on the board. Would you like to play a game? No. Cold War, fear at its height. Thermonuclear war. Hello, the, Joshua. The computer says, fuck chess. Let's play thermonuclear war. No, wait. Joshua does. Or the Matthew Broderick posing as Joshua yeah. does. Yeah. Uh, my How number, about a game of chess? How about a game of chess? My number three is Twilight Zone, the movie. Freaked me out as a kid. I had older brothers mm-hmm. that kept watching it. <laughs> um, is that on Doug's right. list? It's honorable mention. Honorable mention? No. Uh, number two? Have you ever uh, seen the actual footage of the... Plane wreck? Yes. A helicopter? Yeah. 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 Uh, number two. Oh, that's right. They died in the filming of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not, not good. Uh, number two. Uh, vacation. National Lampoon's Vacation. Uh, number two, Jeff? Uh, number two for me is uh, Monty Python and the Meaning of Life. I was waiting for somebody to have that. That's on Br- uh, Blake's list? It no. It was oh. going to be an honorable mention for me. <laughs> no. Just it slowly got, got it <laughs> uh, Blake, number two. Every sperm is sacred. Uh, you can give me number five or number seven. Number seven. Number seven, Risky Business. Oh, that's that a good one. Speaking mention. of Tom Cruise. Yep. Wait, that was 83? Yes. Yeah. Sometimes. Along with losing it yep. and... Uh, all the Right Moves. All the all right, right Moves. Right. He had three movies that year. I all the Right Moves, funny. you see his penis. Ooh, I gotta go see that Taya now. Leone gets naked, too. No, Sometimes you just Not gotta say, say <laughs> who is that? What the fuck? Uh, uh, what's her name from Back to the Future? Caroline in the City. Yes, mm-hmm. Leah Thompson. <laughs> Leah Thompson. Thank you. <laughs> I like you go Back to the Future. I was like, no, Caroline in the City. Mm-hmm. Uh, number two for you, Jet Blake Brian. Jet Blake Brian. <laughs> uh, number two for me would be Staying Alive. <laughs> wow. Directed by Ooh. Liam Neeson. Nope. <laughs> who? Sylvester Stallone. Oh. He's, he directed that? He did. The lesser Stallone oh, brother. Frank was much better. Yeah. Frank sang the uh, song in that. Yeah. I did it my way. Uh, number two. You know, you know, I, I, I'm really upset that I didn't get it, my joke in about Risky Business. that had, you know, Re- Rebecca make me horny. Well, you just got right, it back in. You. Please I mean, don't. You've got that joke in about too many times on this podcast. <laughs> 
No, that was Mary Stewart masturbate me. <laughs> Doug, number two. Uh, mine was trading spaces. <laughs> trading places. The spaces. Okay, but I, I want to go back Paige to you. was hot. You seeing Taya Leone naked in that. She yeah. was 17 at the time. What? Oh, Gross. You saw Leah Thompson we're talking oh, about. Oh, okay. You yeah, Leah Thompson. Just, Leah Thompson. Leah Thompson. wrong. Jeez. And one was Return of the Jedi. Oh. Yeah. Cover my face, Doug. Cover my eyes. That's scary. Number one, Doug. How's he feet? Oh, that's right. Brian, number one. Uh, number one for me would be The Outsiders. Dude, oh. that was my last one. It's number five. <laughs> <laughs> the Outsiders. <laughs> Good job, I, Pony Boy. I was very disappointed in that movie. And the book. I enjoyed the book. The book's good. Yeah. I enjoyed both of them. <laughs> Brian, Brian, the one movie he liked on this list, he's like, oh. No, I, I mean, I liked the. Yeah. I liked them all. I, I, it was just my favorite. Okay. Number one, Jeff. Stay true. Uh, number one for me is Yellowbeard. Okay. Have uh, you guys not seen Yellowbeard? No. Uh, I, <sighs> yeah, I saw it. It, it. Well, I guess it's a British movie, so you uncultured swine wouldn't know <laughs> it. Didn't quite make make it across my screen. <laughs> but it, it, it's it's a uh, pirate movie spoof type thing, uh, yeah. starring Graham Chapman of Monty Python. Along with people like Peter Boyle, Cheech and Chong, Peter Cook, Marty Feldman, Eric Idle, Madeline Kahn, James Mason, Plans. John Cleese, all these cool people. Okay. Ooh, Nigel Planner was in it. I forgot him. Love Nigel. I, I just like to say, Jeff always seems to harken back to my time machine because mm-hmm. listening to that episode. We talked about Yellow Beard? We were talking about Amphab. <laughs> Yeah. And Blake kept calling you guys uncultured. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, number one for me was Return of the Jedi. Uh, I had honorable mentions of DC Cab. Can we get that in there? Uh, let's see. Honorable mentions for me, I had uh, King of Comedy, okay. Scorsese, uh, De Niro, uh, Valley Girl. Oh, I hated that. <laughs> And I liked Valley Girl. I hated it. Flash Every... Dance. Okay. I had the Dead Zone. Oh, yeah. Stephen King. Uh, we had a lot of honorable, or we had a lot of listener picks. Randy, I had RJ Holt 666. He's not evil. He's just handled that way. He had Blue Thunder. Splash. <clears throat> Vacation. Mr. Mom and Return of the Jedi. Honorable mentions, oh. Twilight Zone and Strange Brew. Stork. <clears throat> Episodic Geek. Give them a listen. He had Return of the Jedi, A Christmas Story, Octopussy, Risky Business, and The Dead Zone. Hey, there were no Star Trek movies that year, were there? No. <laughs> uh, there were two James Bond movies. Yes. Yes, they were. I was shocked by that. Like, never when I was looking at it, I was like, oh. Yeah. Never Say Never Again. Never Say Never Again was made by a different film company. Gotcha. Because somehow they lost the rights to something for a brief period. So they made gotcha. Yeah. So they brought back the old guy, Octopushy. Uh, Doctor Number One. He had the Lonely Lady starring Pia Zandora. Ooh, Pia Zandora. DC Cab. <laughs> Jaws, I remember DC Cab. Jaws Three D. Mr. T. Yep. Yeah. Superman Three and Octopussy. Might be the best Bond movie after Moonraker. That's what Doctor Number <laughs> Yeah, I know he's the one that just pushed my buttons. Cause... Uh, Deb. Octopussy actually is. As far as a Bond But is it as good as Moonraker? It's better. Better than Moonraker. Who was the, who was the female in Octopussy? Oh, crap. What's her name? Uh, She's hot. That's all I remember. It was like her second time as a Bond lady. Grace Jones? No. no. Terry Hatcher? No. Uh, uh, Terry Gar. Yes, it was no. Terry Gar. <laughs> Leah Thompson? I wouldn't mind if it were Terry Gar. <laughs> Leah Thompson? It was not Taylor Leone. Taylor Leone. It was not Taylor Leone. She was like Leone. 12. <laughs> For Bond, that really doesn't matter, I don't think. Bond's a creepy old man. Are you guys looking it up? Maud Adams. Maud Adams. Yeah. Oh, Maud. God. How could I? You <laughs> gotta have. Oh, Maud. Oh. Not Maud from the TV show, Maud. No, 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 no. Different Maud. <laughs> not B. Arthur. <laughs> B. Arthur. Oh, Maud. Can you imagine B. Arthur in there? Yes. Uh, <laughs> hey, the Reds lost. <laughs> oh. Sorry. It's a shame. I just got the notification. Uh, Dev. <sighs> he had Porky's 2 the next day. War that was, Games. That movie was a disappointment compared to the original Porky's. Trading Places. The original wasn't that good. <laughs> no, the original was not good. It was very, a lot of is, a lot of is and isms in that movie. Uh, Mr. Mom and Return of the Jedi. Zero picks. So there you go. 
Uh, bad idea of the week. Um, Not going to Bucky's. No, no. That's a bad idea. Bad idea number 101, CNN Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Don't invest in that. It's not number one. No, 101. Oh, I thought you said number Calm one. Calm down. I said 101. Calm down. Jeez. Jeez. I mean, yes, that's a very bad idea, but it's not number no, one. No, 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 no. Doug. Yes. Thanks for showing up. Hey, no problem. Are you riding Guardians of the Roller Coaster this week? <clears throat> no. When's it open? Memorial Day weekend, but the uh, cast member previews is happening now. Oh. Um, and then I think they're going to have more previews after that. I like how they put the cast members, a.k.a. employees, on there. Because if, it, if they break down or somebody dies, it's at least so an employee of Disney and not a guest. So that's good. That's good. You is know, it? I really, really hate when businesses call their employees something other than employees. Team members. Uh, that that be, annoys me be, so mad. That would be universal. <laughs> I mean, you're share owners? Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> team so you're members. a share No, owner. we're not on a fucking team. <laughs> I am an employee. Family. We're all family here. We're all You family. know, I, I'd rather be an employee. I want the money. If I'm family, then give me the fucking money. <laughs> I am part of this family company. that I'm <laughs> sleeping in. Actually, that's a red flag when anybody says, we're like a family here. I'm like, fucking count me out. <laughs> we're like a family here. Well, layoffs are coming. <laughs> <laughs> CNN Plus is falling. <laughs> but they are like a family at CNN Plus. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a very Except for you and you, family. you. <laughs> and you, you, and you, and you. Well, they literally had brothers uh, running a TV show for a year. Yeah, I mean, come did. on. Hey, hey, hey. Innocent until proven guilt. Sorry. Down the hall. Down yeah, the hall. down the hall. Uh, Brian. Oh, wait, hold on. I was going to say, you know, I did see a good Onion headline about how Disney was arming their characters to stave off the Florida takeover. <laughs> what does Pluto have? I don't know. Oh, I, th- I don't thought know. you had weapons for some of these, Blake. Uh, so there you go. That's all we had here. I'm uh, sorry. You are going to ask Brian. To, I interrupted again. Nah, I didn't really care. Hey, uh, Jeff. Yes, Brian. Go. What word starts with E and ends with E but only has one letter in it? Envelope. Yes. Oh, that's a good postman joke. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Best intern in the business. It's yep. almost like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, get excited about your promotion. Yeah. Can't wait. Uh, titles for the show? Titties for the show. <coughs> no, titles. I uh, have a tub of KJ Apple water. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Guardians of the Roller Coaster, <laughs> a full plate of beaver, Thumb Raider. Got that. And never put your beaver buddy in the fridge. Yes, I have that as well. I have clothes by Jerky. Uh, that is a bloody buffalo, because I was not putting that as a bloody beaver. <laughs> and I think that's all I had, actually. There you go. Doug? I vote for because I'm not putting uh, that was a bloody beaver. <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> I had bloody beaver, Thumb Raider. And fantasizing about Samantha Brown. <laughs> um, I have KJ Appa's bathwater. Did you just hiss like a cat? <laughs> uh, heaven orgy. <laughs> Hell orgy. Uh, this one is a rhino. Mini drumstick. That could be sticks. very political. <laughs> I thought um, it said hippo. Oh. <laughs> I thought I said I thought I heard Rhino. No? Okay. Go ahead, Brian. You keep going, buddy. Uh mini drumsticks. They were they were not mini. He he literally had the extra large drumsticks. They looked tiny. Mm, that was all that I had. What was the beaver thing that you, you had? Never put your beaver buddy in the fridge? Yeah. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. I had that one. Did you? You just try and jump on the bandwagon. He did. Well, say I was that the one that said it. So <laughs> I theoretically did have it. Okay. I'll go with it. He's shooting for that promotion. Yeah, yeah. Are you uh, sure you're not interested in did you just hiss like a cat? I did like that one. It's up to Doug. Doug, you're picking. Uh, Can you me. No, you got picked, Doug. You're a guest. I'll let, I'll, I'll let my son pick. Uh, we'll go with don't ever put your beaver buddy in the fridge. Don't. Uh, oh, I put never. Never, put, never put your beaver buddy in the fridge. Okay, thanks, it's everyone, for listening. Anyway. Does Apple have a word limit? Untitles? No, I don't know anymore. I don't care. Uh, Whoa. Thanks. You do care. Yeah, I do care. <laughs> thanks for listening, and we'll see you next week. Roger says goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Walking Dead to Talking Heads, from comic books to TV sets, there's a history. Not so bad, there's a history. 
It's the history of bad, so bad. The history of bad, it's bad. The history of bad ideas. Podcast. You've been listening to Hobie.